you know, it's hard to believe you look at the record the Padres at 46 and 51 five games under with this power packed lineup it just they just haven't hit with runners in scoring position Juan Soto spins that one a long way right center field Veerling is back all the way to the wall and it's long gone and even the old dimensions of Comerica Park wouldn't hold that Juan Soto with a blast and the Padres have the early lead in Detroit and it's picture time Joe Musgrove gets out the Polaroid camera got a blow on it and the line will keep on moving two on and two out for the Michigander, Jake Cronenworth. Jake Cronenworth, that's one to deep center field. Matt Vierling goes back for this one. He's all the way to the wall. He leaps, and he drops the ball at the bottom of the fence. Machado scores. Bogart's behind him. He'll come home. Cronenworth, the Michigan native, ends up in third. It's a two-run triple and a three-run first inning for San Diego. Reese Olsen trying to have a bounce back second inning. And for the Padres, got three against him. Swinging a high fly ball to left. This is trouble. Padilla going back to the fence, jumping up. Made the catch. Up and over the fence and left. A kill Padilla robs Hassan Kim of a home run to end the second inning. That was amazing. A little tongue coming out after. It's almost a little Michael Jordan esque. I don't think Ellie De La Cruz could have gotten enough on that throw to get Fernando where it ended up. Didn't even look like Maytime had a shot to get there. Here's Soto, who hit a very long home run back in the first inning. Soto hits mm. it in the air to deep left center field. Veerling's going back. He's going to watch. It's going to go. Another long one. This time off the batter's eye to the left of straightaway center field. And not only has Juan Soto homered twice, he has done so demonstratively here against the Tigers. Five runs early for the Padres, three in the first inning. Zach McKinstry at the plate. McKinstry punches one to right. That is over the head of Tatis, and it's gone. It's over the wall in right field. And Zach McKinstry gets just enough to punch it out. His seventh home run of the year against the Tigers on the board. He's got, you know, he's got the little curveball, little quirks, but Tigers team, I just feel like a pitcher like this, they can get on a guy like this. It'd be nice to get a couple on the board here. There's a long fly ball off the bat of Riley Green, and all of a sudden it's a one-run game as Green hits a two-run homer. Let's go. He got a pitch to hit right there, Dan, and he didn't miss it. That's what good players do. Detroit trying to mount a late comeback. Here we go. Miguel Cabrera going to pitch in for Zach McKinstry with two outs in a one-run game, bottom of the ninth. 508 career home runs under his belt. They're on their feet here in Detroit. Swings and misses to end the ball game. Josh Hader strikes out the future Hall of Famer. He works a 1-2-3 bottom of the ninth, and the Padres hold off the Tigers tonight in a 5-4 game. All five runs scored in the first three innings, but that would be enough as the Padre bullpen does enough.